Hello, boxing family and fellow boxing fans. I have an interesting one coming from Trey Titan. I thank you for this request. And the fight that he wanted me to cover is Muhammad Ali versus Teofilo Stevenson. I hope I said his name right. Teofilo Stevenson. Anyways, you know who I'm talking about. So I look at Teofilo Stevenson and I wonder why he never went pro. The guy was good, he was fun to watch, and he was a very skillful fighter. I really loved that fight against Tyrell Biggs, but he should have went pro. And from what I understand, he was scheduled to face Muhammad Ali. That would have been an amazing fight. He was a tall, lanky heavyweight or super heavyweight. So I believe if he would have went pro, we would have seen great things from this guy. So Stevenson versus Ali. Let's get into it. Of course, the great Muhammad Ali needs no introduction. One of the greatest fighters, if not the greatest fighter of all times. The greatest fighter of all times, in my opinion, or at least the greatest heavyweight. Phenomenal human being as well as a phenomenal fighter. And you, you know my premise. Styles makes fights. And this one is no exception. So I think this would have been an interesting one. Stylistically. With Stevenson being a couple of inches taller than Ali. I, th I think so. I think that's right. Stevenson's a couple inches taller than Ali. But I do believe that Ali had more power. Very similar styles, except Ali was better off the back foot. You would always see Stevenson coming forward. But I believe at some point in the fight, Ali would have Stevenson on the back foot. Now, of course, Ali can fight going in both directions, off the back foot, coming forward. And I, I believe that Ali has the speed advantage. What I do like about Stevenson, and this could possibly work against him, but what I do like about him is his poise, his patience, the way he picks his spots, and very selective with his punches. When Stevenson had you hurt, I mean, he had you. Great finisher. I mean, he had good defense, good head movement, great combinations. Stevenson could do anything in there. He is what I would consider a complete fighter, as well as Ali, a complete fighter. You see a lot of fighters that may do one or two things well, but then you have those fighters who can do everything, and that's what makes them great. That's what separates them from the rest. So at some point, I believe that Stevenson would have been great as a pro, I believe the fight with Ali would have been legendary and would have been great. But I must give Ali the edge in this fight for the things that, that I've mentioned, the power advantage, the speed advantage, more versatility, the ability to fight off the back foot as well as going forward. Now, don't get me wrong. Stevenson was good. But while Stevenson is measuring Ali, which he was good at measuring his opponents. But I could see Stevenson getting caught with a lot of shots that he doesn't see or didn't see, just waiting on Ali, just trying to measure Ali. And when and when you were fighting Muhammad Ali, you had to get in there and you had to get you had to get down to business. You had to get to his body early and you had to force the pace. But playing the waiting game against Ali, I could see Stevenson. I'm getting hit with lead right hands. Now, Stevenson was great. Stevenson was great. Of course, Ali is great. But I just see the speed of Ali separating the two in this fight. And I see Stevenson eating a lot of shots. Now, Stevenson is going to is going to get in his own work in the fight. I mean, Ali, I don't believe Ali would come out of this fight totally unscathed. But I just think that as the fight progresses, that as Ali gets 
Stevenson's timing down. And I see Stevenson becoming a sitting duck for that lead right hand. And so that lead right hand and the speed in which Ali throws it is what is what concerns me. Both have great jabs. And Stevenson, Stevenson had a tremendous jab. But Ali's jab was better, a little quicker. Ali could fire that jab off the back foot. Ali could fire that jab while he's dancing around the ring. Both fighters had tremendous footwork. But Ali's was better. I believe Ali, next to Sugar Ray Leonard, had the best footwork in boxing. With Ali being number one and Sugar Ray Leonard being number two in the footwork category. So, to tell you the truth, I see Ali winning by technical knockout late in the fight. And I think that Stevenson would be competitive. He really would be competitive, but the hand speed of Ali and the punches that Stevenson wouldn't see coming would eventually break him down, going down the stretch. And so I'd say Ali by TKO in round eight. Those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. As much as the sport has let me down in the past few years, they always give me a glimmer of hope. I always see a tiny light at the end of the tunnel. And just when I think it's over, and there are times I feel like the sport is on life support. But 2023, is showing me just a little bit. And fights are finally being made. You have Garcia versus Davis coming up. You have Plant versus Benavidez this evening. There's talks of Fury versus Usyk. I'm cautiously optimistic about that. Bud and Spence, what are you doing? I've heard rumblings that they finally come to an agreement, but I have to see it to believe it. I'm no longer getting my hopes up about that particular one, but the others, I will take it. I will take it. I haven't seen this sort of matchmaking in years. And so it gives me a little hope and it should give you a little hope. We as the fans, we have to continue to let our voices be heard. I'm talking about the real fans, not the casual fans who really don't have any understanding of the sport or totally oblivious to the different dynamics or who don't understand that you don't have to have an O to be great. Oh, I forgot to mention Devin Haney versus Vasily Lomachenko, 2023. It's going to be a great year for boxing. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I really believe that after this year, we're going to start getting those fights again. Top fighters are going to start being more active. And after this year, promoters and fighters and managers are going to be motivated to make the, to make the fights that the fans want to see I know right now I'm getting my hopes up but it's all I have I love this sport so much I'm sure you love this sport well if you come to this channel I definitely know you love the sport but we have De Devin Haney versus Vasily Lomachenko Gervonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia Caleb Plant versus David Benavidez coming up tonight and I am so excited. So keep them coming. Keep them coming.